Hello YouTube, this is my uh, zombie map ascension complete walkthrough. This didn't take me very long to do, but um, I did put some kind of hard work into it, so I hope you guys enjoy it and it helps you. <clears throat> Alright, so this is for people who are just starting off or maybe don't know the map as well. In the beginning, you will come in on a lander. It will be black and white, and uh, right off the bat, you can buy this M14 for $500. Uh, it is an assault rifle, carrying an eight magazine, well, eight bullet magazine, and um, quick revive. If you're in solo, does not require you to turn on the power right away. It is also for $500, and in solo and solo only. It revives you once you go down. In other uh, cases, it only revives quicker. All right, that teddy bear is for a song, and uh, the second gun you can buy in this room is the Olympia for five hundred dollars. It's a shotgun double barrel. Now, I I muted the volume, but there's a certain noise when that thing goes off, and if it hits you three times, I believe you go down. All right, this is one of the things that the zombies drop. It's called insta kill, self-explanatory. Knives, bullets, grenades. Anything is instant death, basically, for a, a certain amount of time. All right, this bottom door in the first room, you can buy it for 75, well, seven, 750. All right, this MPL you can buy for 1,000 points, and it's a, a submachine gun. The second thing you could do is you could go upstairs and buy the, uh, I think that is the PML for $1,000. have to have to have the power turned on before you can get that. I'll explain that in a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, this is max ammo. Another thing that the zombies drop, self-explanatory, very necessary up in the higher levels. It uh, replenishes all your ammo for everything, basically. Um, this is a crawler. You get them from uh, shooting, or, uh, well, the ray gun will blow their legs off, and uh, grenades will blow their legs off. Okay, so this door you could buy for 1250 It leads to another building in the same building another floor the stakeout is a shotgun for I believe 1500 it's a uh, it's very effective until about round uh, 10 or higher alright this door leads to the power you can buy it for a thousand alright it's so another thing the zombies drop is uh, double points very good for points this is how I get so many points on a low level already um, Instead of getting 10 points per hit, you get 20. Self-explanatory, it's double. Alright, now right here I have a death machine. Another thing that the zombies drop for a certain amount of time. And right down there is Cracker Jack, which repairs all the windows. And the bomb, which will blow up most zombies around you and give you points for using it. Same thing as the Cracker Jack. And the death machine lasts for probably about 30 seconds. I would guess. Okay, so I'm going to open the door, and uh, right here to the right is where you turn the power on. You just hold X, and uh, you get your color back. Okay, then there's one window up there, and they come down through there, so you got to be careful. All right, now this is the mystery box. For those who don't know, it gives you random weapons. It could be a really shitty weapon or a really good weapon, depending on the luck. I got an RPK. It's a... Uh, God damn it, what's it called? Um... Machine gun, yes. It's very effective, very good. Okay, so the perk I was talking about in here is Juggernaug. It, uh, in, it increases your health by how many zombie hits you can take. Instead of two, I believe it's six to seven. And it's very necessary to survive in the later rounds if you should get trapped. And that's what the hit's like. Okay, so the second door in the first room, you can buy for also seventy seven seven dollar god damn seven hundred and fifty dollars and right outside there's a automatic turret that will run for probably about a good thirty seconds to a minute for fifteen hundred dollars. Now that is a symbol of a lander, which is what you use to uh activate the pack a punch. Alright, now out here there is an MP five K that you can buy for I believe a thousand. Not too bad, not too bad. 
and this is one of the three landers that you use to activate the pack a punch you just go up to it and you say or uh, it says press and hold x all right these are grenades frag grenades you get four of them for 250 dollars this is a phd or some ph or phd ph i believe something like that anyway uh it's a flopper it's uh you dolphin dive and there's a explosion around all right now when you want to use it it says that it's cooling it takes about five seconds and then it costs 250 to teleport you to the main room and that's what the flopper is or the flapper this is what the screen will look like when monkeys come they steal your perk machines which takes your perk away and they also attack the machines so it's good to have a team spread out between each machine so that they don't damage them because once damaged so many times you cannot buy them back and juggernaut i believe to me is the most vital and this is what they do they like to jump on them and smash them and when they are being attacked you can see in the lower left hand corner uh that they will make a sound and like i said i muted the clip so you can't hear it but they will flash and that's how you know and you can alert your team if you're if you have a team and when you have killed all the monkeys you do get a max ammo they replace dogs in the same sense and then your screen will go back to normal and uh, this is the first teleporter that many people use um, <laughs> there's a crawler there I had he was mad because I got away but it teleports you to the main room and um, it's it's fairly good for getting away if you're in a tight situation and right there on that little red rocket um, once as you can see it's flashing green so that means one lander has been activated and speed cola okay this is pretty essential too it reloads your weapon a lot of a hell faster I mean it's just it's crazy um, it's three you can buy it for three thousand dollars pretty expensive but it's it's worth it <clears throat> alright this is the sickle related to the bowie knife it replaces your main knife with a basically just a sickle and it takes about two stabs to kill him I don't like it just because I don't like to get that close and close and personal but that is another bear for the song which you just hold up you press and hold X for all three of them and you get the song and that beam of light uh, tells you where the box is anytime you look in the sky uh, that's where the box is <clears throat> and this is the second teleporter each are just 255 um, points very cheap for getting away if you need to yeah you can you can even see that light from the sky it's pretty nice pretty pretty neat that they uh, added that in there you know you go run around looking all day if you didn't know where the box was and uh, this one also teleports you to the main room and now the second part of this rocket will light up and flash and go solid saying that the second one has been activated and this is a fire trap this is like the only fire trap that I've found that it creates fire for about probably 30 seconds to a minute killing any zombies that step through it alright this is the AK-47U I don't like it just because it's underpowered but you can buy it off the wall for fifteen hundred dollars stamina up makes you run faster and a lot longer for I believe two thousand dollars it's a good deal now this door you buy for twelve fifty I believe that's another symbol in lander here are claymores for a thousand you get two every round and they replace every round so it's it's two around. Um, lastly, there are two thing there are two windows in here. That's the third bear. I didn't activate it because uh, I, I wasn't gonna plan on muting the clip, but it's just a lot easier. This is the third and final lander that you activate to get the uh, pack a punch. And that TV, the longer you look at it, the more clear it becomes. It will tell you, like say how the box is over there. Okay, it tells me. On the screen where the box is located it actually shows a picture of the box and its surroundings so this last teleporter here that also brings me to the uh, main room and you will see that this third section of the lock rocket has lit up and will stay solid when ready
Oh yeah, <laughs> I had to think here. I was like, where do I have to go? I got confused, but yeah, I got it right. Um, to uh, get the pack a punch open, you run back to where you turn the power on and you launch the rocket, and in turn that will open the pack a punch doors. And I don't have enough to upgrade, but I do show you the pack a punch. And uh, yeah, so it's right next to where you turn the power on. You just press and hold X and uh, enjoy the show. Now, if you do have a ray gun and you want to see a uh, surprise, uh, I guess I could tell you, um, have a buddy or you shoot it really anywhere um, to about 20 to 30 times and the rocket will uh, blow up and it's, it's like fireworks. It's pretty cool. But um, yeah, usually there's a bunch of like warnings, things that say, you know, launches in progress, warning, launches in progress, stuff like that. But like I said, the mute clip is muted. Okay, this is a M16 that I missed. It's uh, an assault rifle, three round burst. Until you upgrade it, then it's fully automatic. But you can buy it for, I believe, $1,200. Um, that's a symbol of the pack a punch. Just like the lightning bolts will tell you where the uh, power is. That's the symbol of the pack a punch. All right, now this door was now closed before. All right, that's another symbol of the pack a punch, obviously. But this door was closed before the rocket. All right, there's two windows in here where the rocket was launched, and that's the final symbol of the pack a punch. And finally, there's two windows in here and the pack a punch. If you have a four man team, I suggest you get two, or everybody with mics, your buddies, have two people watch the window, have one, one, have one person at each window, and then two people at the front. It's a pretty good place to camp as long as you don't get overrun. All right, now outside the pack a punch room, you can also buy another automatic turret for fifteen hundred dollars, and it will kill you if you step in front of it. So watch out. Okay, guys. Well, that has been my, I hope to be at least complete walkthrough of Ascension Nazi Zombies. Um, first strike pack. I love the maps. They're they're pretty good. So um, thank you for watching. If if this helped you or you like this video, can you just please uh, take a second to uh, click that like button? Helps out a lot. All right, thanks guys. See you till see you in the next video.